हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जी एस एस अकेडमी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द जनरल प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर बार्क इंटरव्यू ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोर्सेज विच आर ऑफर्ड बाई जी एस एस अकेडमी सो वी हैव बोथ द ऑफलाइन कोर्स एंड ऑनलाइन कोर्स ओके एंड ऑल द कोर्सेज ओके विच आर ऑफर्ड आर offered by the best faculty members which are there okay and uh, like uh, there are several competitive examination in the earth sciences whether it be like uh, it jam gate ups gsi okay and there are several more all of them are offered at gss academy okay and there is also a facility for online courses and the benefit with the online course is that you are provided with recorded videos okay so you can re watch those videos in case you are having any doubt okay the faculty members which are there at the gss academy they have done uh, bsc honors in geology from bhu tu and other several uh, reputed institutions okay and uh, we have done masters in geology from iit bombay iit roorkee iit assam uh, dhanbad the students who have studied at the gss academy they have like cracked each and every uh, like earth sciences related examination like uh, csir net jrf gate examination upsc gsi cgwb and bar examination also and they have qualified them with great rank okay so talking about me so my name is shashi okay i have done uh, my masters in applied geology from iit bombay okay last year in the year 2021 i have cracked the bar interview with all india rank 7 uh bar 2021 uh, with air 7 Now let's see what are the like general preparation strategy for the interview. So firstly, I would like to wish uh, like all of you guys who have qualified for the interviews uh, a big congratulations. Okay, because you guys deserve it. Uh, but uh, like uh, getting selected for interview is just the one part of it. Okay, you have to have final selection. Okay, like you need to have the call letter at your desk. for that you you need to have like you need to do great planning because this final selection in the bar na they are either in the ratio of 5 is to 1 or 10 is to 1 uh, and this is decided by the like by the bar members like uh, uh, the interviewers which are there they decide like in which ratio like they would be taking like last year about 100 100 students were called okay and uh, finally 20 were selected this year i guess it's about 160 okay so you can expect either like selection of 16 or about 30 okay so the 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 selection ratio for the interview is quite competitive okay so you need to have a proper planning okay for successfully acing the interview theek hai now talking about some uh, very very important tips like first would be definitely the interview attire okay like uh, before attending the interview you need you need to like properly see yourself like whether the particular attire is suiting you or not whether it is comfortable or not because like bar interview goes up to 1 hour okay and out, like out of this uh, like 1 hour more more like more than 80% of your time would be nice spent standing like there would be one board okay and you would be asked to convey whatever you are saying on that board only like you have to explain on that board so whatever you are wearing that should be very very comfortable okay like for boys uh like boys boys should wear a formal shirt okay and pants and a girl should wear like uh, similarly short pants or they could even go for salwar suit or uh, they they could they could even go for sari there is no like foundation like but you have to see 
whether whatever you are wearing whether it is comfortable or not okay because just remember like more than 80% of your time would be spent standing so if it is like very very important and uh, guys like uh, interviews uh, would be like concluded within like one month so and interviews would be held in hyderabad so it's going to be very very hot there so i would be like advising you not to wear blazers because like you would be sweating a lot but if if you feel comfortable then it's it's fine like you can wear them okay and this is important like master dissertation work you have to carry them uh, in the interview okay get them print out uh, like whatever uh, masters work, dissertation work which you have done get them print out in the color format and carry uh, them with you okay but uh, like uh, there was covid covid situation and some institution uh, dissertation work was not done okay so it's not compulsory okay for those student but whoever has done it please like carry them because uh, this will uh, surely add to you okay add, uh, and also like uh, the project and internship which you have done like if you feel that particular project or internship is like having relevance with uh, the work which is done by amd please please carry them okay but uh, like uh, try to leave the projects like uh, if they are not having any relevance with the work done by amd like if you have done any work with ongc okay related to related to petroleum industry so do not carry them okay it would be better like just you only carry the master dissertation work and whatever you are carrying them like have a thorough knowledge regarding this because you can expect questions from them definitely and also the interview uh, medium of interview like pref uh, preferably like keep the maximum interview in english only because this is a scientist post now and uh, the members who are going to be taking your interview they are going to be like uh, the the scientists from bar fund okay so kindly keep the interview in english but suppose like you have you are stuck somewhere and you are finding difficulty in speaking english like for explaining that that particular term so you can switch uh, to hindi no problem at all but try to keep the interview in maximum english only okay now what are the things which you need to study which will like uh, maximize your like success chances so first as i've told earlier your dissertation work so whatever master dissertation work uh, which you have carried you are going to carry you go, you are going to carry them okay so you need to have a like thorough knowledge regarding that whatever questions uh, which uh, might be probably asked from your dissertation work like kindly prepare them second would be uh, the projects or internship which we have done okay in your masters or bsc kindly go through them also okay and regarding field work so uh, with field work also uh, the interview panel they are going to ask questions so prepare your field work also but you do not need to carry the uh, field work uh, like field work report okay do not carry the field work report but uh, just uh, just uh, kindly prepare the things which uh, might be related to your field work like whatever the probable questions uh, which might be there okay okay in both the msc and bsc field work and uh, regarding the uh, rocks and mineral samples so uh, like uh, wherever your interview would be conducted now like several of rocks and mineral samples would be kept together and by physical analysis of those sample you have to tell tell the interview panel like which samples like whether it is a rock sample or whether it is a mineral sample and what samples are those okay so kindly go through them one because like it's it's always there okay and uh, basics physics chemistry and maths okay so like with each and every interview inter, interview candidates like some questions are definitely asked so i would suggest you to go through 11th and 12 uh, like uh, 11th and 12 textbooks of ncrt of 
uh, like physics, chemistry, and math because they ask they ask them. And uh, regarding atomic minerals, okay, because AMD uh, does work related to atomic minerals only, so it is very very important to find uh, like to look into the Indian mineral de in Indian deposits of atomic minerals, okay, Indian deposits like where you are finding uranium, okay, where you are finding thorium. You need to remember all those things. Uh, then uh, like types of uranium deposits like there are more than 10 types of uranium deposits so you have to study them also and things related to uh, atomic energy generation okay and power plants you have to uh, look into that also and the basic geology like whatever subjects are there in the geology you have to have a proper idea like tumne tumne ek written exam nikala hai like either gate or like bark exam so you you are already knowing many of these stuff but you need to like brush up those things like whether it be ore forming processes sedimentology metamorphic igneous you need to remember like each and everything you can skip certain things like engineering geology okay like petroleum coal they, they won't be asking you you questions from those subjects but the the basic part like structural geology sedimentology uh, ore forming processes exploration and also geophysics so they will certainly ask questions from them okay now now how how you are going to approach the interview preparation because the, uh, the positive approach is very very important first you need to have a belief that you can you can crack the interview like whether it the, whether the selection ratio is 10 is to 1 or whether it is 5 is to 1 you need to have a belief over yourself that you are going to successfully crack the exam so be, like before starting the preparation develop this attitude okay De develop this attitude uh, develop the mental attitude that you are going to crack the exam okay whether like whether the seat is one seat okay or 50 seats jitna bhi seat regardless of that you are going to crack the exam sabse pehle ye bahut zaruri hai second is completing the hot topics so what i mean by hot topic means the, the topics on which the probability of asking questions from uh, the interview panel is is very very high jaise maine bola na field work ho gaya ya dissertation work ho gaya ya tumne koi project kiya hai theek hai ya kahi internship kiya hai so they will sure shot ask questions from them so you need to complete those things first okay and then move to other things like I told, go through the basic steps of NCRT from 11th and 12th. So then you complete those things. Okay. And then you move to like other geology stuff. Like you read sedimentology, metamorphic, igneous, ore forming processes. And read something about atomic minerals, their deposits in India. And how energy could be generated from atomic minerals. Okay. These, these things. So... The, uh, like complete the things from which the probability of asking uh, questions would be higher and then move towards the other thing but but whatever you are studying now try to go in depth jo bhi tum pad rahe ho uska reason find karne koshish karo ki wo cheez agar ho raha hai to kyun ho raha hai theek hai like uh, like if, if a diamond is uh, is found at a very depth okay like more than like 100 kilometers depth it is being formed like why it is happening in that way okay if, if thorium is associated with uh, like beach sand why is it why it is why is it occurring like that because the interviewer which are which are going to interview now they are going to check your knowledge okay in like depth knowledge jo bhi wo puchhenge 
they will try to find out like whether that this particular student is having a depth knowledge or not like with with myself only you know like they have they have like asked uh, questions in very very depth like uh, they they start like talking about one one example they started with tsunami okay they asked me what is tsunami okay and then they went on to say like how it is occurring like what are the probable causes of tsunami so i told earthquake landslide okay and they took it to more deep more deeper okay like they asked me uh, do you know whether uh, whether there is any relationship between the wavelength of earthquake and the height of tsunami okay wavelength of like seismic waves okay and the height of tsunami so i was not knowing this okay so i like i uh, i just told the interview panel that sorry sir i am not knowing this question so but uh, uh, i have taken this example to show you the like the depth to which they have taken like they have started with a basic question and they have taken it to very very deep okay so whatever you are you are you are studying now try to ask yourself why why that particular thing is occurring so the catch here is like don't try to study all the thing but whatever like you are you are able to complete in in the in the time frame between now and the interview try to go in very very depth and try to ask and frame questions from those part only okay and then last but not the least uh, like go for mock interview okay mock interviews are very very important like tell your friends okay tell your teachers to conduct your mock mock interviews okay which are which 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 is going to create a na a a a a type of like uh, a, a proper approach in your preparation okay and they are also going to develop a self confidence because self confidence can only be developed with practice and if you are going for mock interviews then sure shot it's going to develop a self uh, like self confidence like for i have like uh, myself like i have all the all like taken like three four mock interviews like i have told my friends okay and my teachers to take mock mock interviews before the final interview so giving the mock interviews it's very very important for this uh, successfully cracking this exam okay guys uh and like uh, uh we would be having a live session okay from the gss academy side live session and this would uh, this session is going to be completely free and uh, you could have a uh, direct one on one questions with me okay whatever doubt which you are guys having with uh, regard to this exam okay so like i would request each and every one to kindly uh, join that session like whenever it is conducted like it would be conducted in like 2 3 days only so do not worry about that like whenever it is conducted please join that session because it would be very helpful for you because uh, like i would i would be like uh, able to solve whatever like questions uh, which you guys are having okay so let's see you guys during that uh, live session okay thank you from me my side and from the jss academy okay guys bye